Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of scatter plots, specifically how we can solve problems using scatter plots, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So take a look at our scatter plot here. We have the last digit of student phone numbers, and we see the score they got on a quiz. And this little squiggle right here says that we're skipping some numbers. Rather than going from 0 up to 60, we just skipped a whole bunch of numbers. We're starting at 60. So that's what happens when you see a squiggle on a graph. They just skip a set of numbers in which there's no data. Well, there's hopefully we see there's no trend line because there's really not any reasonable relationship between how good you're going to do on a test and the last digit of your phone number. So that's why it, this data really is scattered. But we can still answer some questions from it. So take a look at our first question. What fraction of students, okay, so this already tells us our fraction is going to be our answer, needs to have an odd last digit and a passing grade. Okay, so odd last digit, that's even and odd. So let's go ahead and circle our odd last digits. So we've got one, three, five, seven, nine, and a passing grade. Okay, so let's just assume here that it is going to be greater than or equal to 70. So I'm going to draw a line right here. So we are going to count that one that's on the 70, that is a passing grade. So we're going to exclude those ones at the bottom, but we're also going to exclude any that are even. So let's just start here with our one last digit. And we're going to find any that are above the line. So I'm just going to circle those. Okay, one, two. We're going to exclude the zero. We're going to exclude the two. We're going to go to the three. We are going to pick up that one right there. We're going to exclude the four. Five, we've got one student that got a 100, exclude the six, which we would have excluded anyway because it's below 70, but the passing mark. And we've got a seven right here that got an 85. And then two eights we're going to exclude, and then there's no nines. So our fraction, remember, has a numerator and denominator. So let's make sure we understand what we're looking at. So the numerator is going to be the number of students that meet the criteria. So that's odd that is greater than or equal to 70. So how many of those did we circle that met the criteria? One, two, three, four, five. Now our denominator is always going to be your total. So we need to include not just any that are odd that may or may not have passed, but just any that we see on here at all. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 5 twelfths. Can we simplify that? No, we cannot. So our answer here is going to be 5 twelfths. We can get a different question from the exact same data. Look at the second question. What is the combined scores of students with an even last digit? Well, when we're talking about combined, it lets me know that we are thinking about addition. And instead of including all numbers, we're just including those that have an even last digit. So that's the box around those 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And we're just combining those scores. So we're not looking at whether they passed or not. So let's just pull these numbers off. So that's between 60 and 70. So that's going to be a 65. This two right here, I've got a 60, and I've got an 80. So let's make sure we're copying those down correctly. 16, 80. This four has got a 90. The six has got another 60. Our evens didn't do too well. And I've got an eight that's got a 75 and a 100. All right, so that's really all we're doing here is we're taking all of those scores, and we're going to add them. And well, the ones digits are going to be pretty easy. That's 10. On this one, it's going to be a little bit tricky, so let's kind of go slow. I'm going to look for 10s if I can find them. Right, so 9 and 1 make 10. I know that 6 and 6 make 12, add 8 make 20, so now I've got 30. And then 6 and 7 make 13, so 30 and 13 are going to make 43. And so we'll just say 530 is our answer.